Let's talk about sex for a moment. <laughs> you said this about Sloan. I wanted her to be wearing very fitted clothes. I didn't want her to shy away from the fact that she's a woman and she's feminine. She's not embarrassed by her body. She doesn't feel like she needs to cover up for you to take her seriously. Just wait for the stuff that comes out of her mouth. You can root for her because she's not going to fuck your boyfriend. <laughs> she won it. <laughs> Might wait for you guys to break up. <laughs> <laughs> Not while you're together. There are rules. Yeah, you know when we um, when we're putting uh, you know on the red carpet before we walked in, um, someone had asked me uh, uh, about how how difficult is it to play something like well you know if if you're you know they're like well if you look a certain way and if you're pretty and then but also she's smart and um, and you know is great at her job like. Uh, how do you do that? And I'm like, that's, um, I don't understand how uh, that can be compartmentalized. You know, the way that somebody looks on the outside, how that can determine how smart or uh, driven they are or where their moral compass lies. And so um, a lot of times um, whenever I'd go out, you know, for a role or I'd, be on, or I'd get an opportunity to work on a, on a show, if the woman, or if the character was smart or driven and strong, uh, we had to cover up, cover up, cover up. And um, I didn't want Sloane to flaunt her femininity and her sexuality, but I didn't want her to apologize for it either. Um, I make a big decision, because um, we talk about it a lot, but you know, you see the women anchors, they wear a lot, uh, jewelry a lot, and uh, colorful stuff, and I think that's great for, you know, for uh, whatever anybody wants to do with their, their life. But for Sloan, I didn't want anything to distract from the information that she's giving. So I wear very minimal jewelry, but I also, my, my second episode when I come on, um, I worked with our, a wonderful um, costume designer, uh, Hope, and she's so wonderful, and, I said, and she was really on board with it too. I said, I want it to be very fitted to my body because I want, when, when you see Sloan walking out, I, I want maybe for people to, to judge her immediately because she's not frumpy or, or wearing a turtleneck and, and that, it's, uh, that she has a, you know, a womanly shape. But then I want, them to, I want the audience to judge themselves for judging her once we start getting into the scene and when I have Sorkin dialogue in my mouth. And, and it was um, <laughs> very lucky for me. I don't go around my life talking like Sorkin all the time. Be nice. People would think I was smarter. Uh, but, um, but it was very important because... Um, I, you know, I, I have a niece who's going to be six, and I want her to grow up in a world where she can be smart and strong and sexy and beautiful, and she doesn't have to choose one or the other. And I think it's a, it's a big thing in our world and on TV. Thank you. I think, you know, we, um, in our society, we, uh, entertainment and media... Um, perpetuate stereotypes, so why not try to perpetuate a new one? And um, Aaron, that's the thing that I think is so wonderful about Aaron is that, um, you know, the thing that I know about Aaron more than anything is that he's a father of a daughter. And he is, he is so uh, loving and supportive, and when he writes, the, when he writes Sloan, he doesn't, he, he, he writes her the same way that he writes Don or Jim or Charlie. It's literally, it's just a, it's just a character, and and, um, and his respect uh, for, I think, just people in general that comes through. And so it, it never really, it, it, to me, it was my decision as an actress and the things that I go up against to make sure that um, they weren't compartmentalized. But, um, uh, but to Aaron and I think to Alan and everybody who creates the show, it wasn't really an issue. It's just, okay, great, that's what you want to do, great.